In today's video, we're checking out this beautiful 1957 custom shop guitar. A lot of people think this looks like the Mary Kay Strat. I guess it does. So I've written a blues track. It's been a while since I jammed out to some blues. Just look at this thing, man. It is beautiful, but let's see how it sounds. Welcome back folks, this is Shane, you were listening to this beautiful Fender Custom Shop 57 Stratocaster with gold hardware. Let's take a look. Here's the guitar up close, I think this looks really great. I've never been the biggest fan of gold hardware, but the more I look at this guitar, the more it seems to suit the vibe of the instrument. Now this instrument comes in at 3.2 kilograms, which is roughly six and a bit pounds, maybe seven pounds, something like that. So it's not very heavy at all. I always find with the Custom Shop guitars, they're that little bit lighter than the rest of their range. Now the color of this guitar is called Antique White Blonde and it also says it's a closet classic, whatever that means. But the, one of the cool things about this finish is it's a new old stock flash coat lacquer and you can see the grain of the wood underneath. I think that looks really cool. The neck on this guitar is fantastic. It's what they call a 57 Soft V. Now each of the three single coil pickups are hand wound 57 Strat pickups and they're also called the Closet Classics. Now there's no hum cancelling position so if you want to go to these two or these two together you're basically out of luck. It's not going to cancel the hum but that's very accurate to that particular period of time. And I own a Strat with that combination and you know what I've never looked back. Now we get a volume control and two tone controls. Now interestingly enough when you're on bridge pickup, neither of the tone controls do anything. It's a very simple mod if you want that added, but as it stands straight out of the box, this tone control does not affect the bridge pickup. 
One of the standout features of this instrument, you'll either like it or you won't, is the gold hardware. We get everything from the gold hardware tuners to the gold hardware strap locks, gold screws around the pick guard, to the gold hardware on the bridge and also on the input jack. On the back of the guitar, we also get a gold plate showing you that it's the Fender Custom Shop Limited Edition with the serial number. Firstly, a massive thank you to Sky Music here in Melbourne, Australia for letting me borrow this for the review. What an absolutely beautiful guitar. This is definitely one of the best strats I've ever played in my life. I'll talk more about that at the end of the video, but if you live in Australia, I'll leave some links to Sky Music in the description. And if you live overseas, I'll leave some Sweetwater and Toman links down there, and you can check it out in left and right-handed configuration in your part of the world. But at the end of the video, I'll give you my thoughts about this because this is easily one of the best guitars I've ever played. Oh man, let's get into it. Let's kick it off unplugged into my Marshall DSL 40CR amplifier. I'm going to start with that lead tone that you heard in the intro track, but without the delay. And then we'll go over to the amp on clean. Let's give this a shot on neck pickup. I'm going to start with my volume at about half. Here we go. Super smooth and dead clean. Take a listen to this with the volume back up. Yeah, so super dynamic. You can get that really great blues tone just by winding the volume control up if you're on the crunch channel or if you've got an overdrive, or you can get that dead clean tone. Yeah, all right, and I'll just show you quickly on bridge with a bit of dirt, here we go. Same thing if we turn down. Cleans up beautifully. Let's try some clean tones now with the clean channel of the Marshall. This is back to neck pickup. Beautiful. Neck and middle. Over to the forgotten picker, I mean middle picker. Beautiful. And over to middle and bridge pick up together. And back to bridge pickup. So this probably will sound pretty much exactly the same as you heard on the crunch channel, but with the volume control down. Here we go. Let's take a look at the tone control on the guitar now. Interestingly enough, the bridge pickup doesn't have either of the tone controls in the circuit. I'll show you that right now. So they're doing absolutely nothing, but if we get over to any of the other combinations, we're good to go. So bridge and middle. So still on middle pickup is this tone control, then if we go over to these two, this one becomes active here. So yeah, just be wary of that, as the bridge pickup doesn't have it wired up, it's an easy mod. 
Let's go back to the Crunch Channel now, but this time with the gain up a little bit more, and we'll try some big court stuff. Bridge pick up. <laughs> volume down. Middle pick up. And back to bridge. Man, all right. Thanks for watching, folks. My name's Shane. So what do I think of this guitar? It's one of the best strats I've ever played in my life. Just recording that intro track was one big go. That's awesome. I love when that happens. It's pretty rare for me to get it all right in one shot. But yeah, that lead part, man, it just felt great to play. I love the pickups in this instrument. They're super dynamic. You turn down, it cleans up beautifully, no matter how much gain you've got firing through your amplifier. So. Whether you'd like to use an overdrive or whether you'd like to use a crunch channel on an amp, clean, this will clean up just absolutely beautifully. It feels really great. Now, I know a lot of people might be saying, hey, how does this compare to your American original? I'm gonna do a shootout of that coming up. But my first impressions is it doesn't feel too dissimilar. I'm just really interested to see how much better or different these pickups sound than the ones that's in my guitar because as of right now, at the house, I have the two best strats I've ever played from Fender, at least anyway, right here, right now, this and mine. So uh, yeah, I'm interested to see just how different they are. So if you're not subscribed, please do so. A massive thank you to Sky Music for sending this out for the review. Now, this isn't mine, they're not letting me keep it, it's on loan, so I gotta give this back. So if you're thinking about picking up a custom shop Stratocaster, this would be high on my list of one of the nicest guitars I've ever played in my life. So. I can absolutely say with confidence that most lefties who pick up something like this, or if you're a right-handed player, they obviously make them in right-handed, you'd be in for a bit of a treat. It feels great in the hand. So thanks again for watching. Links to Sky Music will be below. I'll leave some Toman and Sweetwater links down there as well. And yeah, let us know what you think of the sounds of this beautiful, beautiful custom shop Stratocaster. Thanks again. Catch you soon. See ya.